guys, welcome to my channel. It's Beatrice Edad Archibong, socially known as Blue Beatrice Archibong. So today we will be answering your assumptions about All, All Nations, Nations University. University. If you find this interesting, keep watching the video. Blue Beatrice Archibong is all about beauty, cooking, comedy, fashion, fitness, lifestyle, vlog and lots more. So a lot of people have so many assumptions about All Nations University. People say this, they say that, they say this. So I'm like, oh, why don't I just make this video about answering the assumptions about All Nations University. And today I have with me... Olua Tominsen. Hey, you sound like Nigerian. Are you Nigerian? Yes. Hey, I'm Nigerian. and I like assumptions. <laughs> so, guys, like I said, we'll be answering the assumptions about All Nations University. Just take your, just take your popcorn and your wine because this is about to get lit. Okay, it's about to get lit. So, I created this pool on my YouTube community tab. I also created a pool on. Um, Instagram, I was asking people to send their assumptions to me. I also did on WhatsApp. So I got some people sending me a lot of assumptions. This is what we'll be reading out and we'll be answering, we'll be clearing all your doubts today. Hmm, so, I can't actually wait I to know, listen right? because people have a lot of things to say. About a auditions. lot of things to say. So I'll be reading them out and we will be answering it. And that is what it about this video. Our first assumption here, someone said, all nations is for Christians only and without retreats. A student cannot graduate. Wow, okay, wow. <laughs> but then, ah, uh, nah, not 100% true. Okay. Because, um, yeah, it's a Christian university, but then we have like, we have a Muslim community in this school. Actually, I think this school is open to everyone. Yes, it's a Christian school, so there are some mandatory things, like you have to go for morning devotion, it's part of the sure. um, exercise. But then apart from that, I think everyone's allowed to practice their religion, everyone. so it's not a compulsory kind of thing, mean. so uh, that's that, false. That, that, <laughs> that, that's not true. And also, someone said, um, the student dress like thugs. <laughs> like, wow. Oh, please, are you dressed like a thug? Please, ah, please, please check no. me out. Before then, I am a proud alumni of All Nations University. Yeah, proud. <laughs> so guys, rate me. Am I dressed like a talk like this? Ten please, over ten, please. 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 Ten over ten. That assumption is very poor and is very wrong. Students of All Nations don't dress like talks, but literally they dress like bankers. You, if you tell me they dress like bankers, yes, I would like, okay, yes, yeah. that's true. Because the school has made it to invite in students to dress corporate. Yeah. And it's really helping a lot of people because you dress corporate in school and this thing has been embedded in you. When you go into the workforce, you see yourself still dressing decent and good. So please, we don't dress like talk over nah. here, please. And, okay, some people would think that, okay, as engineers, why should we be dressing corporate? But then we dress corporate when we don't have, when we don't go on the field, because at times we go on the field. And when we go on the field, we are in our PPE, mm -hmm. our protective wear. So guys, please, we are dressed for every occasion, okay? <laughs> Please, like he said, we are dressed for every occasion. You cannot go to uh, maybe the farm and you want to put on corporate to the farm or you put, nah. ah, you have to dress to fit where you are going yeah. to. You understand? Okay, so please, we've cleared that doubt, okay? One said church and book. <laughs> Ah. Church and book. Hmm. So guys, are you guys implying that all All Nations students are dull? Like we don't have any I, form of fun activity. I don't like, even why? Get, like... Okay, see, yes, I get most of our people are coming out to the first class, fine. Most of our people are coming out to, like top leaders in like religious activity and um, right. religious organizations, I fine. Right. But see, we still know how to see look at her. Just look at how she Please is. So. We know, know how to vibe just in all nations. And church. No, she knows how to vibe. Hey, we know how to she vibe in all nations. Guys. We go to church and book. We go to church, we yeah. vibe. We have fun activities on campus. We have SRC. We yeah. do the SRC week. We have like fun activities. activities yeah. Like, oh. We just know how to balance it. You we, see, you can't just do all of that, that and neglect the other. We just know how to balance yes, it. Yeah. That is it. We, we vibe a lot in all nations. And also, all nations students, they are. They are, they are book oriented, though, but then don't, smart. Don't, don't, don't come at them because they can vibe also. <laughs> yeah. Is there something like book oriented? Oh, probably. <laughs> okay. They understand what I was trying to say. So, the next question. Okay. Who said the students who graduate from the school don't get jobs? 
Okay, I think I'm the best person to answer this because okay, I'm an alumni. Okay, I'm done. okay, okay, that's true. Please, that's not true. That assumption is, is wrong. See, this thing is everywhere. Some people graduate with school, and whilst in school, or their last um, year, they already have a job. A job yeah. And some of them, they're even self-employed whilst in school. Yeah. Someone like me, I was literally working whilst I was in school. That was like 2017. I started doing my makeup business, and it was really booming for me. And now look at me. I am my own CEO. Like... Guys, please, like, I'm honored. Like, see, it's an honor for me to be I'm on this not show. Just that. Please, because see, see. <laughs> CEO, celebrity, everything. Hey, like, down. why, why, why? <laughs> calm down. See, it, it's the matter of a decision you make. If you're working for the government to provide jobs for you, then yeah. you'll be unemployed. There are a lot of jobs opportunity there. And that is why the school always come with career program to like empower us to like get a skill or something. So if you're waiting for the government to provide a job for you, Please, that is your mindset, and you forever be unemployed. Sorry. I, I think I can use me, like my case as an example. I, I did oil and gas. Okay. Yeah, but then now I've already set my path in the tech industry because there were programs in school, in the career opportunities where we're able to learn coding, learn, like, I mean, pro, I'm, I'm doing product management now. Okay. And now I know that once, once I'm done from school, I already have a role ready for me. I know, right? So, guys, can you see when <laughs> we're done from school, guys? There's usually a role because they've equipped us with a lot. And the motto is what again? Equip for every, every good, good work. work. Yes. So, we can't yes. be unemployed. Said outrageous school fees. Uh, wow. <laughs> what was this person trying to imply? Hmm. Like? I feel like, see, even if, even if they. I'm not trying to, but even if they reduce the script to like $10, or mm -hmm. ten, people will still complain. They will complain. People you cannot satisfy everybody. You cannot. You can't. You cannot. And looking, comparing with other universities in Ghana here, it's actually quite moderate. Like, it's moderate. It's relatively I affordable, did a research yeah. research to check on the school fees for other schools. Like, Onishan was one of the, you understand? Most affordable, yeah. But I don't know, people are just still complaining. Guys, like you said, even guys. if you should take it to $10, people will still people complain. People still complain. But so, guys, our fees is actually relatively it's, affordable. Both the rich, the poor, average, everybody Everyone. can afford the fee. Yeah, like all class of life, they are in this school. They are in this school. One said, the school get plenty fine boys, Anna. <laughs> well, what, what do you want? Wait, so, if they are not fine boys, what, who are you find your future husband? Please, I beg. And that one is very true. Oh, it's very true. We need true. the fine boys for you girls. <laughs> and they are, you see fine boys, fair, -o, black, -o, chocolate, so all of them. All they are, category. They are, they are all they are here. here. Three fine boys, or fine girls, or anything you want, anyone you are interested in. All has them. <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> okay. Someone said, um, the school is like SHS. Ah, wow. Ah, I don't All understand. Right. <laughs> see, guys, see, you guys are vexing me because how you guys are talking about my school. I don't understand. Why? Why? Mm. Why do you think, okay, wait, I don't understand why it's like SHS. Is it the way we dress? dress is I, it, okay. Yeah, we, we don't even have, we don't even have like um, this thing. A dress code, maybe we like um, white and black or something. It's just, you just have to be corporate. Yeah, that's so just So I it. don't know why, see that assumption is very wrong. It's not SHS or what you're thinking. It is a free school, but then you, you have like a dress code. You have yeah. to be corporate. The, the whole thing is you being corporate. It's not about having a particular dress code. Like you have to you or red yeah. and white. We don't even get XZ. I don't please. understand. Please, that, that assumption is wrong. Please, yeah. it's wrong. Down. <laughs> Someone said all department pay same fees. <laughs> it's not true. Please, oh. No. There's a department in this school called oil and gas. Charlie, those people pay like... They pay mm. a lot of money. They eh? are the top. They are like the top. But I think are... it's between them and even nursing, because now nursing degrees, oh, okay. they are actually at the same okay. rank. Okay. So guys, everyone, I think depending on how good the cost is yes. or how, um, because oil and gas, all nations oil and gas, not every school that is, that is doing oh, oil, it. So that's why gas. it's a bit yes. higher. So not all, it's we don't not use all, all because the fees. I did banking and finance, and the fee I paid was not as compared to someone um, st um, studying oil and gas, oil and yeah. gas or computer engineering. So yeah. I think all departments comes with different fees. They're not the same, but yeah. mostly the business school, they pay like literally the same amount, amount of fees. Yeah. But in the engineering school, they pay like slightly yeah, different varies, from, just, yes, a bit, just, yeah. just a bit different from, it's not the same fee, please. Oh. <laughs> hey, oil and gas, they are the, oh, guys, hey. are the top. Those guys, I respect them. They pay a lot of money. Ah, it's quite much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Someone said foreign students pay same fees with Ghanaian. 
Oh no, I don't. Is that is that even possible anywhere? I don't even get like um, same fees. No, no, no. I think there's usually a variation because you are coming True. to that school. school. They are providing some it's service for you, mm -hmm. so it's usually a bit higher than the citizens. So, yes. it's, but the thing is that okay, we foreign students we pay in dollars. No yeah, but then sometimes you can if you don't have the dollars, you understand, mm -hmm. you can just pay the equivalent of the yeah. dollars in cities. Yeah, so it's yes. they just made it easier for you instead of changing, 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 mm -hmm. just pay it in cities. And for equivalent. those who are always complaining about oh dollars, dollars, like you have the opportunity now to pay in cities but yeah. the equivalent in cities so yeah. that is really that's really this great one is good so <laughs> someone also said what are the school's requirements especially for foreign students nigeria to be precise is it just o level certificates or more so actually um for you to be a student or for you to have admission into the All Nations University, you just need your WASI, your WAEC yeah. um, results. And you have to like pass like the major courses. Maybe you are going to study like oil and gas or um, banking and finance. You just need to pass like the business courses or the yeah, engineering and courses. courses. And yeah. that is just what you need. You don't need NECO, you don't need GCE, you no, don't need you any of that. those extra exams. If you just have that, you are good to go and you are seeing yourself in Ghana studying your stuff. And also there's also this privilege given to people maybe you, you had a deficiency in one course or the other, yeah. the school gives you an opportunity for you to um, write that paper, paper back. Again, yeah. and, yes, so and they also don't give you an unconditional yes. offer into the school. When you are in school, get you get admission, but then they give you opportunity for you to write that particular course and bring it to them. They give a duration of time. time you know, like, yes, yeah. yeah, they give like maybe a year or thereabout for you to go get that paper done, done yeah. and come back. And yeah. And even for, let's say, okay, we're talking about Nigerians, just for foreigners, other mm -hmm. nationalities, mm -hmm. you just need a proof of um, English proficiency. And then once you have, you've passed that, then you're good. Mm -hmm. Plus you, um, I don't know, they'll probably have like an equivalent of WIAC. Mm -hmm. But then if they don't have, they'll give, be given the opportunity to actually come to Ghana, then write it for a yeah. couple of, I think there's a duration yeah, to it, time. then you're yeah. good. Okay, someone said, all nations is a Nigerian school. Ha! Charlie! <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> See, I see. See, Nigeria. Nations. Guys, can't you see? All nations. All nations. Like, people from all around the, the world, world are here. Yeah. Anybody you're looking for, just come to All Nations. You're going to you find, find them, them here. Even if they See, just come to All Nations, you find them there. I think somewhere in 2015, okay, I actually came to the school in, in 2015. Okay. Okay, and I saw white people in the school. Yeah. Right? So white, we have white in this school also. You understand? It's not yeah, for only us, blacks. Yeah. Before, some people be like, okay, it's for only Africans. Africans. Or, no, 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 it's not Everyone. for only Africans. People, white, black, we don't do racism. We, we accommodate everybody. Every Um, yeah, that is why it, it was more like Nigerians are like 60% of yeah, the population. Yeah, just a higher population, yes. but then they, we still had a lot, lot of, of foreigners. people, yeah. and like I said, there's no racism yet. Welcome, you're yeah. welcome to all the... Like, I, was I was ready to like just crush the wrong perspectives that you guys have. <laughs> so guys, I really enjoyed that video. And if you are seeing my face for the first time, please don't forget to hit that red button to subscribe. If you are see I don't know why you are seeing her face for the first time, because she's legit a celebrity. Hey, but then we'll just, we'll just pardon you guys, okay? We're just going to pardon you guys. For the we'll just allow it to slide. But then don't do that again, please. And don't forget to turn on notifications. So whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to see my upload. Remember, Jesus loves you. On yeah. Lou Beatrice Archibong is all about beauty, cooking, comedy, fashion, fitness, lifestyle, vlog and lots more.